Hey, how's it going, YouTube? It's Jay Bomley here with a recap of regionals. Um, I just came back from Toronto regionals uh, yesterday. I couldn't take a video because it was Victoria Day, so I was off. I, I went with family outing. So I'm here to tell you about my day at regionals. So it was pretty exciting. It was um, I was playing my hero deck as usual. Um, but I was surprised I didn't see some of the decks that I would I expected. One is uh, Dark Worlds. Uh, that was one of the ones I didn't see there. Um, I also saw some random ones, Exodia, Chainburn. <coughs> yeah. So it was eight rounds. Um, I played some really nice people, and. Yeah, it was. I'll tell you about it first before telling you my record at the regionals. So my first round it was against Windups. It was pretty interesting. I didn't I didn't get loop for some reason. He we high rolled. I'm pretty sure I went first. Um, I had skill drain. He couldn't do much. So that was the game I won. So so far I'm one zero. Second round was Chaos Dragon. Um, Chaos Dragon, he didn't really draw that good, it was 2-1 again, um, the first game I got that one, second game he BLS'd me, I didn't have a skill, I actually had a skill drain on, but that BLS was too big, I didn't have anything that was higher than that, the Shining that I got out was 26, so he got over it, game 3 I just, I went first, I won, uh, so I'm, right now I'm 2-0, third game was TG's, um, TG's, I didn't expect TG's to make it, uh, I didn't expect it to see it this regionals, um, it was pretty interesting, but I had a Thunder King out, first game, he had a set, um, Striker or something, it was, or TG Warwolf, he, he was about to search, but, I, I told him that Thunder King was on the field, and so yeah, it was. I dominated that one. Um, side deck, I think it's. Mm, no, no, it's not this one. Um, it was my next round. Uh, so right now I'm three zero out of the TGs. Fourth round, I played a friend of mine at my locals. Uh, if anyone knows him, his name is Jerome. He was playing Zectors. Uh, it was unfortunate I played someone I knew. I, I didn't want to play anyone that I played at from my regionals, uh, from my local, sorry. Um, but yeah, it was, he drew pretty bad. It, it was, I, I was expected to lose because Insectors is one of my worst matchups. I, he went first, um, surprisingly, and I won that game. Game two I won as well. I sided in um, Shadow Imprisoning, TD Crows, or was it? I'm pretty sure it was a Valor and a TD Crow and Shadow Imprisonings, something like that. I don't remember, but yeah, I took that game. So right now I'm four zero. Fifth round, I made it to top table one. I played against, um, I believe his name is Irvin. He is from Card Masters. Uh, Playing Chaos Dragons. I saw a lot of Chaos Dragons today and a lot of Insectors. So he's playing Chaos first game. Oh, wait. Um, before this game happened, uh, we got a deck check. I was scared because um, apparently you're not allowed to have extra cards in your deck box. So I'll show you what mine looks like before. Uh, it looked like this, right? But. Um, I have my deck in here, I have extra cards in here from my previous decks I made, uh, Hero Gates, I have, you know, extra compulsories, extra MSTs, which I don't use, Chain Disappearance, wait, well, not, not Chain Disappearance, Chain Material, uh, that's from my previous deck that I made, Fusion Gate Heroes, but yeah, um, he told, a judge came over, he was a friend of mine too, so he knew that I wouldn't use those cards, and... It was 
It's pretty nice. He was pretty nice. And so they gave me a warning for that. I will take that for future reference. Uh, yeah. So, game one. He took game one. It was... I think it was close, but... He has... I think he got up BLS. Black Mesa Soldier. Something like that. But game two, I got it. Game three was just bad. He... Got a card trooper out. He... Well, I killed it. He drew... I believe he drew a future fusion, because next turn he activated it. And then he won off that. That was pretty bad. So, I'm 4-1 and one right now. Round 6. Round 6? Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Yeah, round 6 was... Wind-ups. Again, I... Uh, this wind up with this wind ups, I two old him. He didn't really draw that good. I didn't get looped again. Um, yeah, I had skill drains. I had answers for everything. So yeah, hero blasts. Um, just anything sparks, bottomlesses for his carriers. So he didn't. He couldn't do anything. And, and then after that match, he was a nice guy. He was. Um, I played him again, and surprisingly he trolled me, so <laughs> that's the funny part. This game is really based on luck. If you have a good deck, and you know how to play this game properly, it really comes on with luck. Whoever draws better than the other. So, yeah. Round 7. Round 7, I played in Zectors again. Um, he got game 1. He drew nuts. Uh, he got the sword, I believe, to go off. The Zector, um, I forgot what that thing is called. Um, oh yeah, and Zector Dragonfly, and he got the sword and he just went off. Game two, I I had the game, I had Diddy Crow, Shadow Prisoning. Game three was pretty intense. Uh, let me see here. He had a, he summoned Dragonfly. I had a set chain disappearance. I activated it. I was waiting for a response because he was thinking about it. I thought he had like a solemn judgment or something. But apparently it went through. I th really thought I had game after I chained D his um, dragonfly. But um, apparently he came back. He um, So after chain Ding his dragonfly, he was at about 3,000? I was at 27, and surprisingly, on that turn, I chained D his Dragonfly, he activated Messenger of Peace. I was like, holy crap, I already used two chain, uh, chain, uh, Gemini Sparks, I still had one more and an MST in my deck, so if I drew that, I'm good, if not, I'm pretty much doomed, so, um, that Messenger of Peace went for eight turns which is 800 life points. So he's at 2200 and he was poking me with his hornet. So I was at, um, he poked me for, well actually no, it was after when I was at 2200, when he was at 2200, he summoned a hornet. I had a bottomless set, but that didn't work because hornet is 500. And he had a hornet engraved, so he activated hornet's effect, he popped my bottomless, Oh, he attacked first, a thousand, so I'm at 20, I'm at 17. And then after he popped my, um, yeah, he popped my bottomless. So, next turn, I drew a, an alias, which was pretty much useless, because they can't attack him from Messenger of Peace. I also had a Miracle Fusion, which I used to get out absolute zero. Hmm. That was... I thought I had game because he had one hornet removed, one hornet in the grave, and one on the field. So if I got rid of this one, he had no monsters to attack me with anymore. Because all he had left was a centipede and a gigamantis, which was in his deck somewhere. So, but then he had a book of moon, which was game changing. Because 
at the, he booked at an end phase. So we called it, well, we didn't actually call it judge, but I had a f friend who was a judge, who was judging there. Um, he told me that zero face down works the same as a face down tengu that gets popped. So it doesn't get effect. It doesn't get effect. So I was pretty disappointed that Bunker Moon saved his life. And so yeah, he popped it. He had a foolish burial. Which he foolish the Gigamantis, he equipped it 24. Wait, actually, um, pretty sure he stopped paying for that messenger of peace. Yeah, and then he foolish burial a Gigamantis, equipped, and he attacked over me, and, and I lost. So that was game seven. I am so far X two. That's when I made my YouTube video about. My recap after round 7, entering round 8. So right now, X2, I talked to my friend who was judging there, who was sitting beside me round 7. His name is Jeff, if you all know him. He told me that I would top if I was X3. I was pretty surprised, but it was top 32. Um, I only thought X2s would make it. So I had a lot of pressure going into round 8, telling myself I had to win. So round 8, I played Insectus again. Um, same as Tom from Cart Masses again. A lot of Cart Masses people were at um, on the top tables. He... Huh. We, were, we were talking jokes before the game. He... He was... X11, he had a draw for. I, I, I forgot what he said that draw was for. Pretty sure it was um, a. It was time, and then it was a. I don't know, I forgot, but he was X11. I lost. I drew so bad in the first two games. I got too old by him. I was so disappointed that I lost this game. I thought I didn't make it for top 32. I was going to leave, but then Jeff told me to stay. I do think. But I stayed. Um, and stayed for an hour? An hour and a half, probably. Just to see if I made it. And surprisingly, I made... I was... Those top 32, I came 32nd. It was so surprising. <laughs> I was the only X3 to make it. I think it was because of my tiebreaker with Irvin, who was at the top table. Who knows? But I really don't know how tiebreakers work. So it was pretty interesting. Pretty happy. Whoever's going to Ohio, I'll see you there. Um. Thanks for all those people who supported me, who lent me cards. Thanks to Alex, uh, for if you ever watch this video. Um, you for the YouTube array, all those extra cards that I needed, you know. Um, thanks to people at my locals who were there. They told me I would win, but one actually said I would lose. <laughs> oh man, um, Rakshan, this is to you. Uh, never say that again. <laughs> so bad. Um, but yeah, it was a great experience. I had really much. I had a really good time there. Interesting to see some decks I played. Um, I don't know what to play Ohio now, cause I really got destroyed by Insectors. I swear I had that game from the Master of Peace. I would have if he didn't have that book and the uh, Hornet into Grave. But yeah, uh, what else do I have to say? That's about it. X3 Regionals actually made it. I got my invite. Um, yeah. But yeah, subscribe, like, comment, anything. Here, here, here. Uh, so yeah, peace out.